Hi, Matt Gibson, John Forrest, coming to you live from ACC 23 here at Access Points. We're talking about the Evolute Low Risk Study. Talk to us a little bit about Tavern, these low risk patients. <laughs> Well, you know, I think it's it's different than we have in high-risk patients, where really they're high-risk patients, they're older. We want them to do well for a couple of years, and you know that's what we're looking for. In low-risk patients, we need more than just a couple of you years. This is a run. lifetime. Got to make sure it's right? durable. Se 60, 70, 74 year old is you know, a patient. You want to make sure it's not just going to work well for one or two years, but right. five, ten, and they're and they're out. And you know, with what we have from the TVT registry, we just have one-year data. We don't follow them longer. That's why these studies are so important. You combine that with the importance of shared decision making. How are we supposed to do shared decision making if we don't have the data? You have to have data for decision making. So, looked at two years, but now you're talking about the three year data. What do you find? So, we found at three year data that the curves continue to have a, a separation, okay? Mm -hmm doesn't quite miss, meet statistical significance, 0 0.051, but I think when you look at it, it's a 30% reduction in mortality or stroke. Um, and Disabling dis stroke. Disabling stroke, mortality, mm -hmm. thank you, dis uh, mortality or disabling stroke. And there's not a convergence of the curves, the valve's working well. And when we look at sort of why is the valve working well, we know, you know, it was this valve was designed to have excellent hemodynamics. And we've started to learn things about uh, leaflet thrombus, which may be an mm -hmm. issue with some, mm -hmm. with some other valves. We compare leaflet leaflet thrombus with this valve to surgical valves, they're the same. Not that it's not an issue, but it's similar between the two. And hemodynamics were, a were better. better. Hemodynamics better. Hemodynamics were a little bit better. And AFib was lower, correct? AFib was lower. And that's, a, I mean, there's a lot of AFib there's, people on the surgical side. There, no, there's, it's a lot of AFib on the, on the surgical side. Pacemakers are higher. Yeah. Right. So there, it's not. It's not all. So it's a little positive. bit of a, little, a yep. pacemaker versus a fib. I'd rather have a pacemaker and a fib, but yep. that's just me. So what's the take-home message? I think the take-home message is that patients, physicians, heart teams can continue to be comfortable offering this as a therapy for patients. Still, a lot of decisions that need to go into what you're going to do for a young, you know, a patient who's you know under the age of 75, between you know 65 to 75, what you're going to do for that lot. But you're confident now, saying, look, you know what, the data we have looks good. We'll keep following the patients for 10 years right. so we get it but patients and providers can be confident durable outcomes to three years thanks john thanks for joining us thanks to all of you for joining us here live from acc 23.